Before that, we move on to the hands-on posting key. Uh, what is the posting key of uh, formal definition defined by SAP? So it is a two-digit numeric key. So it's composed of two digits, just like 40 and 50, if you will see, uh, or others maybe. It is defined to control the entry of document line items in a FI transition. It means it controls every line item. It means in a document, at least there are one debit and one credit, two line items. So it means there are supposed to be two, at least two posting keys in a document. Posting key specifies the line item is either debit or credit. So it controlled two things. Number one, whether it is debit or credit and account type. So we shall see how many account type exist in uh, financial accounting. Uh, normally financial in the financial accounting, the account types are general ledger, customers, vendors, assets and materials. Materials means inventory. So these are the five account types delivered by SAP. So either we debit or credit a customer account uh, or we debit or credit a vendor account, which then automatically moves on, uh, passes on to the control accounts, general ledger accounts, or we debit or credit are directly a general ledger account or a material account means an inventory account, which again hits the general ledger uh, through the control account mechanism, or we debit or credit an asset account, which again hits the control account through the uh, asset class. <coughs> so uh, this is the definition of posting key. And now we shall see how this posting key is reflected in uh, uh, FI documents. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends. So to show you some more hands-on details of posting key, uh, I go to FB03, which is uh, displaying of a document. We can go to this decode through Fury as well, but uh, I would like to go or let you see this from the GUI so that we, we can have some, some understanding of GUI as well. So I call a document, which is, this is document number. This is the company code. This is the fiscal year. And I go there and I press enter and I am taken to the document. So this is the header of the document. These are the line items. And in the line item, you can see there is something known as key, which is the posting key. So you see the posting key of the debit item, which is with the plus sign amount is 40 and the posting key for the negative uh, credit item is 50. As I have told you earlier, the posting key for debiting a GL account is 40 and crediting a GL account is 50. So let's F4, uh, let's see what posting keys are available to us. So this uh, list uh, has four columns. The first column is the posting key. So this is the quote, right? The second column is the account type. And if you go to account type, you see that uh, there are C, C stands for the customers. Then there are V, V stands for the vendors. And apart from C and V, we have A, asset. Uh, and then we have G, which is uh, uh, general ledger. Uh, G is, uh, I'm not sure G is not general ledger. Uh, it is something else. M is for material and then we have uh, G and M some more. So G, I assume, is, should be for general ledger. Yes, G is for the general ledger. So there are four, five types of uh, account assignments, account types within posting key. C is for customer, V is for vendor. It means we can debit or credit a customer, we can debit or credit a vendor, or we can debit or credit a general ledger account. Because if we debit or credit a customer or a vendor, uh, the general ledger account is automatically debited or credited, right? So if we only want to debit or credit a general ledger account, then uh, we should select a posting key with account type G. And if we want to debit or credit uh, an asset, which we shall see in the fixes module, we should use the posting key A, account type A, and uh, M is for the inventory. So uh, as we already know, we can sort them on this field if we want so, right? But uh, this is not the purpose that is sorted on posting key. And you see 40 and 50 is uh, uh, account type is G. And the third column is D and C. Uh, D and C stands for debit or credit. So you can only see two entries in this column, either D or C. So you see debiting a GL account is actually 40. Posting key is 40. And crediting a GL account is posting key 50. And we have some other GL account posting keys debit, which are for the cost or price differences. So we can use them as well for a special type of transaction, which include either the price differences or changes in stock or consumption of a stock, et cetera, et cetera. So they will be used automatically within the material management module. And there are so many others as well. So let's uh, call another document, which is a customer document now. So let me call a document list. And I remember the customer document are usually start with one six. So one six asterisk, let's execute. We are taken to these two documents. So let's go there. I don't exactly remember. So you see here the debit keys 12 and the credit key, uh, uh, there's one, one posting key is 12, which is for the credit. 
and the posting key for the tab it is 40. And you can also see uh, that uh, uh, a GL account, which is cost of sales account, a GL account is being debited. Debit GL account is 40 and 12. If you want to see what the 12 actually corresponds to, we can again see here uh, and the 12 is a customer credit. So customer is being credited, cost of goods sold is being debited. So this is one entry. Similarly, you can see vendor document, you can see payment document, and you would see different posting keys here. Uh, so this is the uh, actually a uh, display of uh, how the posting key is used in different accounting documents. Thank you.